everyone, it's Alice and today we're gonna do a very exciting tag called the Dark Academia Book Tag. This was created by Emma and Carolyn and I will leave a link to both of those creators down below if you want to check them out. And we've got a bunch of questions to go through so we're just gonna dive straight in. The first question is what is your favorite academia or a dark book plus movie? And my answer will be no surprise to anyone, my favorite academia book like dark academia book is the dark academia book it's the sacred history by donna tart this is one of my favorite books ever like if anyone asks me what my favorite book is i will very often say that it's this one even though i have a lot of like favorite books it's an impossible question to answer but i've loved this book since i first read it years ago like before the dark academia aesthetic was even like a thing and I just love it so much. I think it's amazing. For my favorite movie though, I kind of had to look up what is even considered dark academia when it comes to movies. And one that came up is The Imitation Game, which is one of my favorite movies. It's like a historical drama set during the war and I think that is amazing. I've seen it several times. I do have another one though that I've never seen anyone on booktube talk about or anyone outside of Scandinavia really probably because it's a Swedish movie and it's like a little bit older I guess but it's called Unskapen which translates to evil and I feel like this fits right into the dark academia thing because it's set like in the 1950s at this all boys boarding school and it's Really intense and really brutal, but it's so, so good. The second question is, what dead poet would you like to have a drink with? And the first thing that came to mind for this is like Edgar Allan Poe or William Blake. But to be honest, I don't think I would really like to meet any of them. They lived in a very different time and I don't really know how that would go. Ooh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I would definitely want to have a drink with Maya Angelou because she was an amazing poet and an amazing woman and she seemed like one of those people who would be really warm and lovely to meet and I could literally just sit there and hear her talk about anything. Then the question is, what is your favorite painting slash sculpture? And I actually have several answers for this because I am pretentious as all heck. But I love The Birth of Venus by Botticelli, which I've actually seen in real life and it was amazing. I really like, I think it's called The Swing. I don't remember the name of the artist and I don't think I can pronounce it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I love that painting. I love this one painting of Marie Antoinette, who again, I can't remember the painter, but I love it. And I guess also the Almond Blossoms or whatever it's called by Van Gogh and Monet's Water Lilies, which I've also seen in real life and it was amazing. The fourth question is, what is your favorite architectural marvel? And for this, I'm gonna choose something that I've actually seen. I love the cathedral in Pisa. So right next to, I'm assuming all of you have heard of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, right next to it is this huge, beautiful church. So I love that and I also love the cathedral in Florence and just Florence in general is just absolutely beautiful like all the architecture is amazing. For something that I haven't seen though and that I really love the look of and I really want to visit, I love, I don't know if I'm saying this right but I think it's Angkor Wat in Cambodia. I think that looks absolutely amazing and I've always wanted to visit the Parthenon in Greece as well. Question number five is what Shakespeare play would you like to be the lead in? And to be honest, I don't really know. I don't have a lot of knowledge about Shakespeare. My knowledge is very surface level. I've never really gotten into his works. I've only ever read the sonnets. The only play I have any sort of connection to or any understanding of is Hamlet. So maybe I would like to be in that. I don't really know, but I think I would prefer being in a tragedy over a comedy, probably. Then it says, how many languages do you speak and which language would you most like to learn? So I speak Norwegian and English, and then I guess I could say I speak bad German. <laughs> like it's passable, I feel. I can make myself understood if I absolutely have to, and I can understand more than I can speak myself. So if I had to, I could probably hold a semi-okay conversation, maybe, I think. 
If I was gonna learn a language though, I think I would learn Spanish because that feels like a practical choice to me. Or if I was gonna be more romantic about it, maybe Italian. Next, we have got what is your favorite quote from poetry, prose, place, etc. And I think one of my all time favorite quotes is from Pride and Prejudice. It's the part where Darcy tells Elizabeth, in vain I have struggled, it will not do. Like just that part of it, for some reason, just like really hits me in some odd way. Since this is a dark academia video though, I thought I would also share with you my favorite quote from The Secret History. This has a lot of amazing quotes in it, but this one is my favorite. It goes, some things are too terrible to grasp at once. Other things, naked, sputtering, indelible in their horror, are too terrible to really ever grasp at all. It is only later in solitude, in memory, that the realization dawns. When the ashes are cold, when the mourners have departed, when one looks around and finds oneself, quite to one's surprise, in an entirely different world. The eighth question is, what fictional character's death is your ideal way to go? Um, whoever passes peacefully in their sleep at a really, really ripe old age. <laughs> I can't think of a book where I've read that, but that would be the ideal way to go for me. If I had to choose though, maybe like Poirot's death, like I feel like he had an interesting end to a very interesting life. The next question is what university slash college would you most like to attend? Probably Cambridge or Oxford, but I'm basing that entirely on the aesthetics. Like I just love the look of those schools, like these really old buildings, like I love all of that. I would love to visit both of those one day just to like, I can imagine all the pictures I would take and like visiting the library, I feel like would be great. If I was actually going to go back to school though, I would probably go to school in Norway because it's where I live, but it could maybe be cool to like go to a university in a different city. So maybe like the Arctic University of Norway, which is in Tumse, which I think is the northernmost university in the world which is pretty cool. Or I would like to go to the university in Bergen just because I really like the city. Then we have got a very fun question. It is, what is your murder weapon or murder method of choice? All right, so I think, honestly, I would very much struggle with like close contact murder because I am quite short and small and you could just flick me away and it wouldn't work. I also don't like the idea of a gun, so probably wouldn't want to do that. So I think I would have to go the poison route, which would work well for me because then I don't have to be there and I can be on a plane to the Bahamas, you know? The 11th question is, what mythology would you like to be a part of? I think the Greek or the Norse mythology, but I would like to be like a lesser creature and like the kind of creature that gets like all the gossip but is not in it. Like there's a lot of drama in all of these mythologies and I don't want to be in it. I just want to hear all about it. Like I would like to hear the tea but I don't want to be in it, which is kind of what I'm like in real life as well. So maybe I would be like a forest spirit or something. Another school question we have is, if you had to do a PhD, what would you choose to do it on? Probably either like literature or history, like something to do with that, but I don't think I would actually like to do one. Like I'm one of those people who am interested in a lot of things, but the minute I start studying it, I will just like end up hating it. <laughs> and I don't want to ruin like both history and or literature for me, so I probably would never do one, but I feel like if you're gonna do a PhD, you also have to be interested in the subject, so maybe history or literature, I don't really know. Last of the questions before we move on to some rapid fire ones, it says, what fictional character would you die for? And honestly, I've thought about this and I don't have an answer, like I can't think of a single one. Like even my favorite characters, I wouldn't die for because they're fictional and I also just don't want to. Lastly, we have all of these like either or questions. So we're just gonna quickly go through those. The first one is leather bound or cloth bound books. I prefer cloth bound. Dog earring pages or highlighting pages. I think highlighting because if I was gonna do 
one or the other it would be highlighting but I feel like dog earring is not like the worst thing you can do. The older I get, the less I care about what people do with their books. Sculptures or paintings? I would say paintings, although I do love looking at both. Piano or violin? Probably piano, although I like violin music as well. Films or theater? I would go for films. I really love films. I love going to the movies. I like going to the theater as well, but I don't do it a whole lot, although I do love a good musical. So I love the theater for that. But overall, I would say that I prefer films. Poetry or prose? I like both, but I think I would have to say prose because that's what I read the most. Museums or bookshops? Now this one is impossible, and I'm really glad I don't have to choose in real life. And this might be surprising, but I actually think I would choose museums. I love bookshops, don't get me wrong, but like I feel like there are other ways of acquiring books that don't require you to go to a bookshop, whereas when it comes to museums, there's no other way for you to really experience that without actually going. The smell of books or the smell of coffee slash tea, I would choose the latter because I don't really, to be honest, get that whole like sniffing books thing. Like, I guess I like the smell of paper, but it's nothing special to me. Like, I'm not one of those people who ever like smell books. And I don't like the smell of old books either. They just smell like musty to me. Although if you like the smell of it, it's totally fine. Like sniff your books to your own pleasure if you wish. But I would prefer the smell of coffee and or tea. Maybe coffee, actually, even though I don't drink it, which is kind of funny. Like, I love the smell of coffee, but I don't actually like the taste of it. Fountain pen or typewriter? Definitely typewriter, mostly because my handwriting is horrible and it's not going to help me if I have a fancy pen. It's still going to look like garbage. <laughs> Lastly, it says new or used books. It might not be very dark academia of me, but I would say new. Okay, everyone, those were all of the questions and it was really fun to do this. Like, it's fun to talk about books, but it's also fun to talk about other stuff sometimes. Like, I love all of this stuff, so it's fun to get to talk about it a little bit. I would love to know your answers to these questions, maybe especially what your favorite painting and or sculpture is and what your favorite, like, dark academia book and movie is. As usual, links to my Patreon and other social media will be in the description if you're interested, and I will see you soon. Bye!